Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Joel and this is A Stable Life. 2022 was a big year for us here at our stable. We actually got a lot done. The channel grew tremendously during that year and you guys absolutely loved the hay video where we took you from start to finish through our hay crop. So I thought it'd be nice to take you guys down memory lane and show you just a taste of everything that we got done during the year 2022. Now mind you, the channel only started back in 2021, so I had a different camera and I wasn't too comfortable with it yet, if you couldn't tell. And if you didn't, well, you're surely gonna find out. So this is gonna take you guys on a trip all through the year, starting in January and ending in the month of December. So I hope you guys are excited and don't forget to let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. So what we got going on today is we're uh, putting mats down. So we have all these mats down in the aisleway here. As we go through the aisleway, they go to a single line instead of doubled up. And as we go down the aisleway, you'll notice that the mats start to get a little crooked. And that's from the horses coming in and out on a regular basis, the vibration of them trotting them running on the mats, walking on the mats, it just makes them move all over the place. So we're going to put in mats from the new pile that we've got, doubled up from the bottom, and we're gonna bring them all the way up to the end so that the entire aisleway is just all mats. That way they're fixed in place and it'll keep the dust down in here and the dirt and it'll be easier to clean. All right, so we have the first bunch of mats pulled out. You can see where they used to be. They keep a lot of the moisture underneath it. So they've been pulled out from here, around the corner here, and here you can see where the mats start right there. So we're gonna get the tractor, we're gonna load them up with mats, we'll bring them in here and we'll just start laying them down. That looks pretty good. So we've got four in and we're gonna start working on these now. That's looking sharp. Oh, maybe I'll have to pressure wash the whole thing off after we're done. Not today. <laughs> Definitely not today. I know what you're thinking. Where's the safety lessons? I don't have any. Looked everywhere, and they're not here. I blame Joel. So we're gonna be replacing all these old lights in here with these LED light bars. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, take out that unit, and then I have to drill two holes in the boards and mark it, and then put in two screw eyes, and then hang the new light and then connect it into the existing uh, light that's there. Hello, light. Oh, well, you were just barely hanging on. Absolutely insane. You can actually see inside Archer's stall. Whew. That is awesome. There we go. And we got light. I'm gonna just uh, zip tie these ends up and uh, I'll see you guys on the ground. All righty, guys, all the lights are up. I am super pleased. We ready? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'll try to throw it. Oh, no. Good. That was. Yeah, that was. Throw it up. Oh, yeah. 200 on this wagon. And 200 on that wagon right there. All right, we got one wagon fully loaded. 200 plus. We're, we're thinking like 205. On this, all we gotta do is get that guy, put in the same position, and load him up. We're hoping to have two fully loaded wagons. Let's go. We have the red wagon backed in, set up with the hay, uh, hay elevator. Gavin and Darrell this time are on the wagon, and Jonah's in the mow with me. All we gotta do now is we've got a couple loose bales that we gotta take 
down into the big pasture. I also just wanted to add that uh, today, my mom and dad finished doing the matting in the aisleways. Guys, you'll have to let us know what you think. If you remember before, this was just a single mat running all the way down. I just wanted to show you guys that Gavin made a snowman. Watch your fingers. Clear? Alright, we got all this from up there going all the way down to the floor to take out today. Right, so I'm up in the last of our square bales. This is the section over here where we've been taking out. As you can see, it's all just straw in here now. Alright, I'm gonna try to level this out first and then we'll just go down. You guys ready for the first bale? Oh yeah! And this is what the red wagon's looking like right now. Get this wagon out of the way, and then we're gonna go and hook up to the next hay wagon that we have available, and we're gonna bring it right in so we don't have to take anything down, and we're gonna work on filling that one next. This is what it looks like from on top of the hay wagon while moving. You can see Joel's little tractor right there. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys here. When we started this morning, the hay was up there with the, uh, the, the old bird cages. And now it's all the way down, completely empty. You get to take all of this off of the wagons we just stacked on, put it inside the horse stable, and stack it all back up again. This is the last of the square bales that we have, all on two wagons. Oh, crazy. And we couldn't fit them all, so we got four on the quad. We have just finished. The time is almost 7 p.m. We got both wagons put in. We moved, all in all, would be a, about 450 square bales, but because we had to move them twice, we had to put them all on the wagons and then take them all off the wagons and then put them in the barn, that actually means that we moved 900 bales would be the equivalent of what we moved. That's right guys, it's super manure day because today all the manure that we've made through the entire winter we're scooping up, putting in the spreader, and we're taking out and spreading. never getting to be able to take all this manure out of the middle pasture. That uh, flat tire I was telling you guys about, it ended up preventing me from being able to take this all out. And then we thought, might as well just scoop it up and put it right in the spreader. That way we could take it right out. So for the crew that we have today, we have me, I'm gonna be running the spreader. Gavin is gonna be in charge of making sure the horses don't go anywhere they're not supposed to. Not to mention, he's gonna be our cameraman for some awesome shots. It's a mediocre shot. We also have Leia riding shotgun. And then we have Daniel up there in the loader. Argento, what are you doing? You don't eat that, buddy. You don't eat that. You guys are something else. They're all so curious. They're like, whoa, what is this stuff? All right, I'm gonna get inside the cab. What's up, Scoots? Ugh. So today we're gonna be driving the 110, which is a little small for the spreader, but it gets the job done. Looks like I'm good to go. I had to put her in four-wheel drive. Alrighty, first load of the day is away. I feel like this is all you guys see me do anymore, is just move manure. 
it's a it's a big part of the job, especially when it comes to animals. It's a, a big job is making sure that you're handling and, and managing your manure appropriately. And Gavin's got the gate for us. We got our first load emptied out. We're heading back for a second. It would appear that Argento is uh, very curious in the tractor and its bucket and uh, trying to rub his body on it. While we're doing this, look at how the horses are deciding to enjoy the nice weather. So I just got a call from Joel who just went down the road with the tractor. He said he made a mess on the road, so now I have to go clean it up. Thank you, Joel. Looks like I got here just in time for Joel to clean it up himself. Uh, Joel, hey. You missed a spot. The middle pasture is all clear. Now on to the big pasture. That's right guys, the manure pile is gone! I know, I know, it's gone! I'm so excited! A whole year's worth of manure is gone. We added another switch in right here that controls the light. So this one controls the stable lights. And this one controls the light right up here. Got a little dark on. You can see all the lights from the stable. Give you guys a look at the light. I mean, this place is an absolute mess. Huh. See the little toad? But we got leftover silage here from the ag bag. As you can see, the fence has weeds all up alongside it. There's weeds all along the riding arena. Everything's, everything got crazy, you know? Spring hit pretty fast. I wasn't ready for it to get this fast, hit this hard. So let's work on uh, cleaning some stuff up, shall we? We're gonna get the weed eater out. We're gonna eat away all these weeds, we're gonna get the lawnmower, or mow it all up. I think it really sharpens the place up, makes it look really nice. It's now 88 degrees, really nice weather. Look who I found. Hey everybody. How's it going? Well, it's going. We're just tapping the holes for the suspension kit for the uh, trailer and we'll get this thing back together and hopefully out of the way because it seems to be in everybody's way. All right, so this is the roof of the horse stable actually and, and up there's the roof for the cow barn. And there's a little section of tin that uh, blew up a little bit. So we're gonna go check it out. So I really don't know how this happened but it looks like one piece blew up over top of the other. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have to take this piece of tin that is supposed to be the one that's over top of it up, put these back down and fasten them back down. Looks like the screws blew out and then from there the wind just had a field day. There we go. Boom. Back down and we just gotta refasten her tight. What do you guys think? 12 or 13? I'm gonna go 12. Holy cow. This sheet metal is hot. Uh, I don't know what happened to the screws that were here, but they're gone. Right here. There's some... Ooh, that's burning my leg. Ah, did you guys know that when it's 95 degrees outside, the roof is hot? Just thought you should know that. Yeah, that'll, 
hold that and we're going to put one end right down here on this end because the wind comes right up in this area here and all it takes is the right gust and it rips that piece of tin right up all right fixed on to the next thing on the list not to be a broken record but guys whew, it's hot up here next place we're going is way out over there on that hill that's right guys we're gonna get some mowing done today as if as if we hadn't already gotten mowing done but y you catch my drift so uh how's it going well suspension kit's on oh look at that that looks good you know i finished my job already oh you suck look at all these grease zerks yeah so we can lube it up that, that way this doesn't happen the next next time around to the rear access to our big field. Uh, so here's the story. I don't know if you guys can see, this is what used to be what's a, a gate. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's to be honest, it's been dying for years, but uh, you know, it's one of those things where when it's not dead yet, does it really need to be replaced? I mean, really, does it really need to be replaced? Okay, well, it, it died. So uh, one of the horses were coming by, don't know which one, and they uh, got their head underneath it and just kind of picked it up knocked it right off its hinges, it fell over, and then, you know, out they came, and so now the horses are out. They don't go far, though, because, you know, grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, and there's an amazingly beautiful wheat field. So I got this panel brought back here, but it's not actually attached to the, get the fence post. As you can see, she's fastened on with a chain, but no hinges. So our goal for today is to take the old hinges off that old gate, put them on the new gate, and pop it back on. Leia, you had one job. Now we're talking, baby. Ha ha! We've got a swinging gate. Hiding arena's all set and ready for the girls to use for their pleasure and whatever they need. All right, and the driveway's all fixed up. Now, uh, the best tool that would have been useful for this is a box blade. I don't have a box blade. I uh, use my bucket and my rake to do my, and, and my eye to do, to do the job of a box blade. It came out pretty good. We also dug out all of the dirt that was right along here that came down through across the driveway that ended up creating the mess in the first place. And then we'll let this pack down and then the water will continue to go where it needs to instead of down the driveway creating me more issues. So this section right here is actually where it's been pretty bad for a while. I just haven't had the time to get to it. But the problem is it's creating worse problems down here in the donkey's pasture and poncho's pasture, AKA the right run. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop up all this rock here and then I'm gonna resurface this section with fresh dirt and I'm gonna put the stone in to kind of tell the water instead of going this way to go right along the barn where it's supposed to. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting in a new bank that I'm gonna pack down and I dug down inside to create a channel to force the water down through where I want it to go, not where I don't want it to go. And so now the water is going to follow the path of least resistance. What we're doing is we're actually doing a, a big change for how we get water for our right run, which is with the run that I'm currently in, and our left run, which as you can see the donkeys are currently playing in. They have access to both right now, so they can be in here at any moment if they wanted to. Right now, there is water access to the right runs water trough. We can turn on the hydrant and we have a system of pipes that gets the water right to there. There is no water system to the left runs water trough. So we're just going to run the water all on the way down. It's going to hit our first water trough and then it's going to continue to run on over and hit our second water trough. You'll see it more in practice. I'm hoping to get this done today. We shall see. Stay tuned. All right, so I got all my parts and I got everything loaded into the car. It was a tight fit, but we managed. And while I was out uh, getting all that material, my mom and my dad are here. They're working on getting rid of the temporary fence that's here. I got some ice cream for you. Thanks. I would have gotten you an ice cream cone, but they didn't have any. They only have the golden nugget bars. Okay, thank you. So we're about to get started here, working down this line, getting everything set up for the water. And mom's gonna be down on the bottom working on the fence. I've been helping her here and there. Haven't had the camera running, so I'm gonna set it up on time-lapse and, and let's get this party started.
All right, so the battery died on the time lapse, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys how far we got. You can see the pipe in the background here. Mom and dad working hard on getting the new fence set up and ready. We're doing our best to kind of use all materials we already had with the, with the exception of the piping that we had. How's it going, dad? It's going great. Hottest day, second hottest day of the year. Are you happy you're doing this instead of hay? Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I agree with you, I agree with you. How you doing, mom? Hot. What are you guys doing? Oh, uh, well, we're trying to get this corner fixed up. We had panel gates here, now we're putting a fence in place of it with no climb fencing because of the water line. You can't run water line on panels. Okay, so you're putting in a more permanent fence. This was something that was always in the plans to do, but now because we're putting the water line through, it's kicked it up on the list. It's kicked it up quite a lot on the list, especially since we have a horse coming tomorrow. All righty, it's time to dump out the water. This tank's getting moved. Yummy, and I just realized my power drill is in the path of the water. I'm gonna go move that. All right, I'm gonna let that chill up there for a little bit while I work on down here. From there, the water fires up, goes down, once it's in the lower ring, it goes through this black pipe, which is what we used to use, and runs through all the way here till it hits our PVC pipe. Now, once it hits the PVC pipe is where the water will then flow through the new system that we put in. So the water should be running its way through all of this right now. And any moment we should see water coming out that bottom 90 degree elbow. There it is. We have water. <laughs> now this, the system down here is, is by no means the system that we're going to be using. We have water down here. Oh, that is amazing. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is actually looking pretty good. The entire pipe is not leaking. Turning that easy to turn valve and water will back up the system into here and then it will continue to flow where it should, which is down the line. So good news guys, it works great. Here, take the camera over here, Gavin, I'll show you. I don't know if there's enough water coming through, but when you close the valve, it backs up. So once it fills up, and then it just flows straight through and it'll continue on to the next trough. Alrighty guys, we got the system finally put in, but we have the system running all the way through to the left run. And I also understand that it probably looks like it goes uphill at certain points. We have checked it, triple, triple checked it with the level. So to start, we're gonna turn this valve on. There we go. So water will come out of there and we know it's a successful system if we got water coming out of here and no water coming out of there. Then we're gonna close this valve off and see if we got water down there. We're gonna flush the system through for a little while Make sure everything's clear out of it. Dump both troughs, wash them out, and then we'll fill it up for drinking water. Here, here it is. All right, good deal. Now we're gonna shut the valve and we'll see if it goes to the next section. The water will flow through this to here. <laughs> Woo! All right, and as you guys can see, that water is crystal clear. William just got a drink. The water over there is crystal clear. I really need to have more batteries on me because my battery got too hot and then it's gone. And you can see them just enjoying that water in the background. Gavin. <laughs> <laughs>
was pretty cool, wasn't it? Did you like the video yet? If you didn't, like it for that. That was pretty fun. After uh, about two and a half hours of uh, good hard work, and let me tell you guys, that was hard work. So we just finished up with the diversion ditch. I think it looks pretty nice. and this is the finished product. Leia's testing it out as we speak. So we definitely have a lot steeper of a grade now. I don't think we'll have that same problem. Uh, so I don't think we'll have the problem with the water coming up and over and then running over the ditch uh, and back pulling it. So that will definitely fix that issue. We also pulled out all the weeds. By we, I mean Leia and I, of course, pulled out all the weeds on the area here so the water has a clear path to go. A little traffic cone here so that people, when they park, they don't just step into the hole roll an ankle or something. And here's how the driveway looks. I think this looks pretty great as well. been fixed. Approved. So, 
There you go. And when you're washing off a horse, what you want to do is you want to go nice and gentle and you want to start on the legs and very slowly work your way up. The areas you're actively looking to soak are going to be in the chest. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. And in, in the uh, stomach area, but mostly the chest because that's where the heart is and you can cool down a lot of his blood right in that vicinity there. Yeah, good boy. Uh, how's that feel, huh, buddy? How's that feel? <laughs> huh? We just wanted to bring out to you, I had to switch from the shower to the center because he's so dirty. You gotta get all that dirt out of there. Cool if I leave the camera here? No, we have to behave now. Well, I'm sorry about that. Only only for a little bit, only for a little bit. All right. Shoe is at the bottom of this stuff. Okay, what happened here? <laughs> um, Abby? What are you doing, dog? <laughs> all right, so. So, um, <laughs> well, <Yeah>. don't. <laughs> Come on, Leah. I hope you got a drink. <laughs> Leah, did you get a drink? Um, you have to wash that off. Clean puppy. All right, let's go give a let's go, go give the missus back her shoe. <laughs> there we go. So that's level right there. Nicely done, Gavin. I, I didn't do anything. You can see how dusty it is in here, but I'm gonna have this on for a little bit longer until the dust clears out. But now we're gonna switch from the leaf blower over to the pressure washer. Check it out, guys. Look how clean this wall got. Over here. that you can really see how good everything looks. Look at that, huh? That's the right way to react. That's good. Whew. Now that's a view. This was really thick in here, Megan. I can tell. Like weeds above my tractor thick. Yeah. Now it's open. open. I've even got a little path right here. Wait. I've even got a little path over there. Backing up. Uh-oh. I know it's over here somewhere. I didn't lose it, I promise. I told you I'd find it. <laughs> you don't want to be sprayed by a skunk? How no. come you don't want to be sprayed by a skunk? I think we all know why. We, I don't want that. Yeah.
you'd have to bring in like that? 19 more. How many? 19 more. 19 more. <laughs> I don't want to be Debbie Downer, but I don't see 19 fitting in here. This post, if you guys go back into my earlier videos, was used to support the stairs that used to come through here, which, which are now over here. So now this post and this board are no longer needed and in the way for us to put our large square bales in. So that means we're going to now remove said post and said board. Is that cemented or is that just? That's just sitting there. Just sitting there. Oh, nice. There we go. Now that's no longer an issue. Now this is open for business for large square bales. So we're gonna... Well done. well done. You tired? Cool. Yes. Yeah. I'm and now, tired. now I have to trim a horse. Have fun with that. <laughs> Whew. Man, what a year. Yeah, like I said, that was just a taste of everything that we got done during the year 2022, and I'm excited for 2023. Something tells me it's gonna be a big year. I also wanted to give a special shout out and thank you to each and every single one of you for watching the videos, for liking, subscribing, for commenting, and giving me your honest and helpful feedback. You guys are what makes this channel possible, and on behalf of everybody here at A Stable Life, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't, don't forget to hit that like button, make sure that you're subscribed, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.